Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial on 5G power amplifier design, essential building blocks. In this tutorial, we will be discussing differential amplifier with cross couple capacitor load. So if you are new to this channel, I would request you to subscribe to this channel. Also like the video and visit our website www.poweramplifier.net for interesting information and tutorials. Let's get started. The main motivation behind this short tutorial is an essential building block. The reason is because this block is heavily used in many linear power amplifier designs reported in sub 6 gigahertz 5g 28 gigahertz 5g and 60 gigahertz and even beyond frequencies so this is a very simple very effective block to understand it has been here since long time in literature but still to avoid any confusion and to emphasize its importance in this tutorial it is necessary to have a look at it so what this block essentially is it is a differential amplifier here we can see in the figure there are two transistors and the input signal is represented by vn plus vn minus output v out plus V out minus and it is biased through a supply VDD and RD is the load resistance. So what we do in this neutralization capacitance technique is we connect a capacitor between the input of one device and the output of the other device. Therefore it is known as cross coupled. It is not between the input of one and the same output of that transistor. It is the cross between the one end between one transistor and other end with the other transistor. So what this capacitor effectively does is since in the differential amplifier and the signal is out of phase so since it is out of phase so an opposite current will flow through this capacitor and as a result the cgd will have a opp opposite current flowing through it in this way the effective cgd will be much much reduced because in the cn neutralization capacitance an opposite current will be flowing in other words this technique reduces cgd significantly and when cgd is reduced for very obvious reason it stabilizes the amplifier or it neutralizes the amplifier it can also result in gain flatness as as well but this one has to simulate and see the importance of this block is because in millimeter v frequencies and these complex uh, high frequency amplifiers we want to be as simple as possible as effective as possible and as few blocks as possible so this technique in a very beautiful manner for a differential amplifier well made it neutralizes it it stabilizes it and it is a very effective technique and as we will see in later tutorials that this is used in a wide range of power amplifier communication uh, circuits for 5g so that's all for this this short tutorial if you like this video please hit the like button also subscribe and don't forget to visit our website www.poweramplifier.net also please read the description if there are any update we will mention it there accordingly thank you very much